The snow actually wasn't so bad out there, Dustin, but that wind, that wind was something else. Yeah, that's, I would say, the bigger concern for us for the next couple of days, because we're getting the snow, but this is not a lot. Yeah. You know, you got a little bit of a dusting. Right. You know, and we'll see a little bit more of that in the next couple of days. It's out west where the snow is a bigger concern, mm -hmm. but here, ooh, it is cold and windy, and that cold is fueling our snow. Have a look at our local radar. There it is. Plenty of snow across the board. It's been falling all day, but this is light stuff. Strong winds are pushing this lake affects snow well inland all the way to Detroit, which is not terribly common. You need a good strong wind for lake effect snow to reach the eastern parts of the state, but strong winds will just kind of disperse it across our viewing area. So there's plenty of snow falling. It's just it's not really enough to accumulate in any one spot. Now around the region, that's the story for the entire re uh, Great Lakes area, all the way up into the UP, the northern lower, and of course out east, more lake effect snow. No big systems though, nothing like that. It's all lake effect and it's all being fueled by the cold air. Look at our wind chill temperatures already around zero in our part of the region, but out west. 20 degrees below zero, even colder in Minnesota. That is some extreme wind chill. And well, there it is, the big cold pool. That's cold air moving in all across the country for the next several days, extending well south as well. So look at the watches and warnings. The purple winter weather advisory, the heavier snowfalls, we're avoiding that. We're just seeing lake effect around here. But all that wind chill advisory up to the north, I mean, this is a lot of wide, heavy impact winter weather for a lot of the country. It's feeling very wintry as we start 2017. Very cold. Wind chill in your weather headlines below zero for some of the nights ahead, including tonight. And then, of course, light snowfall. Lake effect snow probably through Friday afternoon before it wraps up a bit for the weekend. But as we move through our forecast, there it is. It's generally light. Again, we're not talking heavy accumulation, just ongoing light snowfall through tonight. Our models just showing those little lines of blue at times. Here's Thursday morning, Thursday afternoon. More continues, and that'll be the story all the way through Thursday night into Friday. And then by the time I think Friday afternoon rolls around, we'll start to see a little bit of high pressure move in. Winds will start to change just a little bit, and I think that'll help us to kind of see an end to the lake effect snow, at least for a little while. Accumulations through Friday. We have a winter weather advisory for the shoreline and Barry Calhoun counties through Friday afternoon, but accumulations are very light around here, probably an inch at the most, and a lot of that will be melting as it hits the ground. It's a bigger concern if you're out towards the lakeshore. Wind chill forecast through tonight below zero. Through tomorrow afternoon, even in the daytime, we're talking winds still remaining strong, very cold, just above zero, single digits, and then below zero again tomorrow night. It's going to be getting very cold and staying cold for several more nights. 10 degrees are low tonight, windy and cold with a light snow continuing. Gusty winds, 17 tomorrow's high, light snowfall, very cold again. Winds weaken a little bit by Thursday night, so less wind chill, but with a low of only 5 degrees, it is still going to be very cold. In your 7-day forecast, light snow continues, that lake effect snow machine I've been talking about. Thursday, Friday, a few more light snow showers possible Saturday. Dry on Sunday, I think, but then more snow Monday. Look at our temperatures. They stay cold for several more days, but early to middle of next week, we start to warm up a bit. And that means rain and snow return to the forecast. So our roller coaster of a January continues here. Right. And uh, keeps us busy, but bundle up. It will be very cold <laughs> the next few days. Low of five, I'd say so. Yeah, Pretty very cold. much. Yeah, but not much shoveling, not much brushing off the car. Okay, that's some good news, Dustin. Thank you.